thank you for tuning in today i hope everyone had a wonderful new year and that you're enjoying the new year so far today i'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorites of 2015 as well as my current favorites for january of 2015 being that i don't really change too many of my products or my beauty routine but i have been trying out a few new things i thought it would be good just to kind of bring in these two um, lists together and just kind of give you a full video as opposed to just kind of giving you bits and pieces the few things that I liked in 2015 and what I am currently enjoying as uh, monthly favorites for January so without further ado let's get into the first thing that I was loving and have been using not only throughout 2015 but for a very long time but with this particular item I did recently get into using it a lot especially last year around the summertime and is this loofah which I use for dry brushing now a lot of people tend to think that loofah is that plastic ball that we're all used to seeing and purchasing for maybe a dollar or two but the real actual loofah is a dried out vegetable like this one and I forget it's called actually a loofah and I forgot but I know that in Africa it is used um, at in African cuisine and is definitely a known um, vegetable that is used um, throughout the country um, but here I as a little girl I did notice uh, my mom used this in the shower so I use this to um, in the shower while it's wet it gets really really soft and it does actually feel like an actual loofah um, and also takes in a lot of soap so I just basically take my soap and use this loofah I also use it for dry brushing so definitely a great versatile um, piece to use and it is look it does look a little weird and kind of out of this world but it is a dried out vegetable that has been used for many many years um, for um, skincare purposes so definitely my favorite for dry brushing so if you are around an African market or a Caribbean store any of those type of ethnic um, aisles at your local supermarket make sure to keep an eye out for this and give it a try it's very interesting and definitely very beneficial for my dry brushing techniques uh, the next skincare item that I have been loving is this Anya Natural Sweet Rose um, Body Butter. It's all completely natural and it's a whipped body butter actually. Um, and it's scented with um, all natural ingredients, sweet almond, shea butter, geranium, cedar wood, essential oil. Um, I did a wonderful review on my blog, not only of this body butter, but also um, Anya's um, Facial Mister, which I completely love. It just helps me just kind of bring up and enliven my spirits as well as refresh my skin this makes my skin feel super soft a little bit goes a long way I pay $12 for this and I still have um, about a quarter still left I'm definitely going to repurchase but what has been definitely my favorite body butter to use for 2015 my goal was to mostly try out small Etsy shops like Anya natural stores um, I also did purchase a, a very wonderful um, a candle by return to the earth so I'll make sure to link them down below but Etsy definitely has been my favorite for 2015 just to find out those small shops especially black owned black owned shops that do sell and make their own products especially skincare products which I definitely love and have issues with mainstream products because of their toxic chemicals and very strong scents which has a very adverse effect on my head I get headaches sinus issues so definitely a great way to kind of discover new brands as well as see what works for you um, at, on a natural ingredients basis. Now moving on to let's see what else we have here. Um, skincare products but mostly I wanted to get into this um, Yogi Green Yogi uh, green Tea uh, for energy and it supports stamina. It definitely has a little bit more caffeine than I am used to but it has been a uh, very great uh, to help me just kind of pick me up during the day and not only that but help stimulate my digestive system. I have been having some issues with constipation. I know not a lot of us don't like to talk about that but I'm the type of person that I have to go every single day because I like to have that feeling of a flat tummy feel and it just makes me feel lighter and a lot more just at ease so this definitely has been helping me out along with my uh American ginseng um, supplement that I have been trying out. So tea has definitely been something that I've been incorporating mostly into my diet 
and uh, this has been one of my favorites because I'm mostly used to white tea and oolong tea so I'm trying to add a little bit more flavor um, into my uh, tea collection and this yogi green tea has definitely been working for me it doesn't keep me too jittery but I do notice that if I wait later in the afternoon maybe one or two o'clock for a cup I may have some issues at night I'm um, sleeping but if it's early in the morning right after breakfast definitely a great way to just keep your stamina up without overbearing yourself with all those energy drinks or artificial sweeteners that we tend to gravitate towards in the morning to give us that energy boost that we're looking for. So looking at my table here, I'm trying to see what else I am loving. So jumping back into um, skincare products that I have been loving for 2015, um, as you already know, is the Nubian Heritage Soaps. Everything in their line has just been amazing. But this has been one of my favorite soaps, the Peppermint Soap. This one I took out because I just wanted to smell it and have it here so it can set my room up. But definitely the Goat's Milk Chai is my favorite. But again, another brand that I've been looking into, um, another black-owned brand, small brand, although they are mostly um, in Target and larger stores, I did first find Nubian Heritage at my local natural health store and has been a, definitely one of my favorite um, finds and uses for of 2015. Their soaps are amazing, completely affordable, and again, it's just my favorite brand of the year. So make sure you, you check them out. And I'll link, link down as well a review that I did in 2015 um, discussing Nubian Heritage online line and soaps as well. And they also have hair products as well, which I'm looking into for this year. But I did find another brand that I am loving and we'll be getting into um, more and more uh, when we talk about uh, hair products uh, down the line. So the next thing that I've been loving uh, in 2015 for the new year is um, My Shell Dermaceuticals. Um, I did notice uh, this brand in one of my Petivore all organic vegan, uh, vegan friendly brand. And as you can see, it's empty. I use this up rather quickly, although a little bit does go a long way, but this is a gentle day cream for dry skin, which I've been dealing with um, lately. And it's just wonderful. Cost me about $25. One of my favorite. Definitely will be repurchasing. Although I have tried another brand that I've been looking because my skin again has been just completely oversensitive. So I'm not sure if it's certain ingredients that some products may have or whatever may be the case, which I do strongly suspect it has been. I've been using this new moisturizer um, for the past two weeks and I've noticed a lot of changes in my skin. So I'll give it a, a little bit more time just to give a full review on it, but definitely has been my favorite. But my, my Shell Dermaceuticals has been the standout for me this year. I also have their under eye cream, which is very light. I use it at night and also under makeup. And it is very affordable, very light, completely, completely absorbs into your skin right away it doesn't leave that greasy feeling at first I was using mostly um, gel based eye creams I under eye um, moisturizers which was not working for my skin so I just moved to this cream based um, by the my shell dermaceuticals brand I care fabulous eye cream I haven't done a review on my blog yet because I'm still looking to see you know what is the set skincare regimen that my skin is loving right now but as far as an under eye cream this has definitely made the cut but as moisturizers and cleansers I'm still working on it and trying a few things but definitely has been my standout under eye cream for 2015. Another moisturizer that I did like and repurchased twice during 2015 as you can see I have squeezed the living thing out of it. I cut it in half and just took it out but it's the now vitamin C um, and C buckthorn um, moisturizer by the brand now. And I pay about, paid about $10 for this, and it worked pretty good for me, mostly during the summer months and the early months of fall before I started using the derma, derma, uh, My Shell Dermaceuticals Moisturizer. I was using this one, so I decided to hold on to it in case I wanted to do a review or an empties video. Um, I held on to it, but definitely one of my favorites and very affordable, so if you are looking into more natural and organic brands, now is definitely a great budget-friendly brand for you to check out. 
The next thing that um, has been my favorite uh, two foundations um, has been the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. And I'm in the shade, uh, I think it's the medium shade. Oh, it's actually deep, deep something. It's the deep color, deep sand. And this is a very nice coverage. It gives me that full coverage without making my skin look like it has all this makeup on. Definitely my favorite um, for my dry skin. Doesn't leave any patches. It's very creamy. Perfect color for my skin tone. And definitely my favorite for 2015, which I've been using and definitely will be repurchasing again. Another that I've been loving uh, for my super dry skin has been this Lumi foundation, which has been really my favorite for January, but I did use this mostly in December. Um, and I am in the shades uh, W5 and Sand Beige in the Warm range. And this definitely has been my favorite. It has a pump as as well which I really love and has been very dewy doesn't leave my skin looking super oily or anything like that which is why I was mostly gravitating towards matte finishes and foundations but once I got into the deal that my skin is mostly dry I switched to more dewy base foundations um, and this one these two have definitely been my go-to for the year of 2015. So definitely recommend these two if you are looking into um, foundations. And last, uh, well actually not last, but um, but last but not least actually makeup wise for my under eye has been this uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer in Cool Tan. Has been my favorite. I'm sure many of you guys have are familiar with this brand definitely know the quality of this product and very very cheap and it definitely a little bit goes a long way and my favorite my, my third two for 2015 so far so that has been mo most of my favorites for 2015 and I wanted to get into quickly just my favorites for January. Now, January was an interesting month because I did get rid of a lot of things and was determined to really get into, you know, buying small um, and getting into just finding out new brands and seeing what else works for me as far as ingredients and so forth. So the first thing that I did try was this Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla, which actually my local CVS carries the entire line. I was super excited because I always thought it was just not accessible mostly at Target stores which is not too close to me my Walmart does not carry it but my local CVS does and it's this uh, vanilla black vanilla moisture and shine leave in conditioner which I completely love using my hair wet or dry or even just to bring life to my hair just with the scent is just so amazing so one of my favorites um, that has been for the month of January after I wash my hair I just spritz this a little bit into my wet hair I either roller set my hair or I just leave it let it air dry my curls and it just leaves a super soft scent and I just completely love it make sure that you do check out Gypsy in the City her video on her favorite on um, Carol's daughter products um, I'll definitely will be checking out a little bit more. I did pay $3 for this sample bottle, but we'll be going back to check out the entire line at my local CVS store. So the next thing that I've been loving um, as far as makeup has been this Wet n Wild um, Mocha Licious Lipstick, which kind of has been giving me life to my lips. It kind of gives me this Kylie Jenner and I'm wearing it today kind of that mauve Kylie Jenner look and I also then top it with Max Myth lipstick as you can see here which is a little bit too like white for me so I use this kind of to rim around the lines and give me that ombre effect so Mocha Licious by Wet n Wild and Myth has been my two favorite lipstick combinations for the year not for the year because I have been using it sporadically but this past month has been back to back um, with these two lipsticks here so last but not least and I really didn't want to get too much into it because I want to do a full review but for the month of January 
January I did try out a new cleansing oil because the makeup removers that I have been using have not been my favorite and the coconut oil that I use on a regular basis I've noticed has not been working too much for me so I decided to try something which had a combination of oils and I decided to try this Badger unscented face cleansing oil and again I'll get into more detail but it's definitely one of my favorites I've noticed a lot of difference in my skin as far as retaining moisture and when I do put on my makeup it tends to just glide on a little bit more better so definitely is providing the moisture that I need and giving my skin that texture that it's been um, missing so I want to thank you all for tuning in today um, I want to thank you for the support that you've been providing me throughout the years um, to my blog and also in this new journey that I did embark on for 2016 as far as YouTube. So again, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Make sure that you do subscribe and do check out the links below to some of the posts that I did mention today and to also link to some of the products that I mentioned today. So again, make sure that you have a great day. Stay true to you. Bye.